Hi guys, Dave again. Uh, this is my second vlog, and uh, like I said, this week um, the canvas I showed you in the last vlog is now been gessoed. So as you can see there, you can hardly there's hardly any uh, underneath picture and of the print coming through at all. So that is nearly three coats of gesso. I uh, just have to finish it off. Um, just a bit of advice. Um, when I'm doing when I'm doing any painting or gessoing, I always myself now I always do the sides as well. I just think it looks a lot neater on the finished painting. It just looks a lot crisper. And uh, you know, especially if it's hanging up anywhere, you're gonna see the edges. I don't know, it's just me personally. I always like to cover the edges. I think it just finishes it off, you know, nice and nice and crisp and neat. You know, a bit more professional. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Right, but anyway, so this is what I've been using, the gesso. Oop, the gesso. And the artist brush I was on about last week. Now this is it. As you can see, it's quite wide, but very, very thin. So it's a proper artist brush. And just an old tray that one of those uh, dinners came in, which is very handy, just in into there, just squirt the gesso in and you can take your time, you know, no messing. So now, always just put a little bit on the brush and very very fine each coat make it very fine so you don't get any lumps or bumps just nice and smooth but if it does happen that in between coats you do pick up dust or lumps or you know something that you can see at an angle very fine sandpaper and just lightly sand it in between once it's dry obviously and then it will be nice and smooth again so, you, you know, if you do have bumps and blotches and dust, you can get rid of it, you know, but let, let, um, wait, wait for it to dry. So once the coats have gone on, like I said now, three, I gave it three, three uh, very thin coats. And as you can see, there's hardly anything showing through, through like I said before. So that's just a lovely, nice white canvas to start with. So it would, you know, you'll be able to see your your pencil marks on it. If that's what you do before you do painting. If you like to pencil it in first, and it's just a nice, crisp, clean canvas to start on. You know, you'll see your colours look a, a, a lot richer when you put them down. So and. That's what we'll be doing now on the next vlog. I have the picture ready for next time. And we'll pencil it in. We'll extend it. Obviously because it's a very long canvas. And then what we'll do from there is. We'll start painting. It'll be nice to see a bit of colour on this now. Next time. So. Yeah. Until then guys. 